Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting. I'll be sharing my small business workflow with you guys. If this is your first time watching my video, my name is Holly and I am a small business owner and content creator. I own a small business called Point Hun with the Hubby and it's a planner and stationery e-commerce shop here in Seattle, Washington. Our products are thoughtfully designed to increase your productivity, creativity, and clarity to present the best in you. Thanks to Exile for sponsoring today's video. I'll be sharing with you how I use Xstyles for my small business workflow. Xstyles is an all-in-one workspace for creatives and their teams. It's a simple yet functional app that helps organize all your projects. You'll be able to customize any workflow and make it visually appealing. Features include creating creative pages, tiles, tables, and databases. So we're going to do a tour of Point Hun's workflow. We currently have three main sections, my ultimate task project area, marketing projects, and brand book. So let's get in. Okay, so here is how it looks. I have my three main sections here. You can also use this for your personal, which I have done so last year. Here's an example of how you can make it look really, really pretty, and it's just super cool with all the tiles that you can use. But let's get back into my small business. So we're gonna go through each section with you. The master task is the only one I created myself, and then the logo branding and the marketing one. Um, it's actually a template that X Tiles has, and you can just use it and configure it into exactly how you want it. So let's start with the master task section. So this is how it looks. I have a little homepage here. What I love about it is I also have little folders here. So as you see, I have a homepage section, a product section, and then a planner insert section. This is for inventory. Um, and then this one is for my projects that I'm working on. And then my homepage is kind of like little tasks that I might need to do throughout the day. So here is how my homepage looks. So this is kind of what I was talking to you about, but at the tiles, um, it's super easy to create. All you have to do is just um, pull it out and just pick how big you want your tile. You can add things like notes, images, tasks, tables, so many things you can do, um, but this is how I'm currently using it. I have my top task here, which is kind of like bigger tasks and bigger projects that I just need to remember I need to do. And then we have our check stock area. Sometimes I do check my inventory status. Um, if there are things that are low, there are things that says it's at zero, I have to go and make sure that it's actually zero because sometimes there are times we miscalculate um, and then there's actually still extra left so there's that and then this bottom area is my production area when I have a little bit of time or I just don't want to work on anything else I just want to do a little bit of like no brain work and just like punch inserts or like create other things um, I have a little section here to tell me what I can be doing and then I put a little photo here just a little reminder of the things I create um, and then on this right side here I just have today's to-do list and that's just usually my main thing that I look at to-do list but as you see you can create more you can add more things in here I'll definitely be doing that as I go but this is kind of my main master task list that I always look at um, during the day and then other things are projects that I'm working on I didn't put a lot of stuff in here because a lot of the projects are pretty secretive so um, here's a little bit of example how I would do it and in the project section I do have different categories for my projects so I have products which is the one you're looking at now I have um, packaging so working on packaging stuff usually that's um, the hubby's job to do and then I have some admin projects where um, these are things that are mainly website related um, things that are not project or packaging related and then last but not least I made myself an inventory section a lot of the times the biggest thing that I have to check inventory is definitely my planner inserts so here is how it looks I have everything listed out every once in a couple of months I will make sure to check um, Shopify and to record all of the numbers that I have and that way I know what to order at the print shop so here is an example of what I would need to get some of the zeros and the threes anything lower than 10 I usually will try to order it a couple of months later when everything is restocked I can um, delete it and start again so this inventory section is just for my planner inserts anything that is print related that I asked the print shop to do and then I also have a regular inventory section and this is just um, other things that might be out of stock and that I need to restock for example I have um, some stickers that are done in-house so I can get that ready and let 
the hubby know because he's the one that does the stickers. So that was the first section and the main section of my workflow. Now we're gonna check out the marketing section. So this is how the marketing section looks like. There is also a home page. So this one is a template that you can actually pick up from X Tiles. I'm still working on making it my own. You can also see how it looks like when it's a template. So there's a section here, which I kind of went through. I love how there's like a little Pomodoro thing here if you really want that. Obviously you can take things in and out if you don't need it, which is very, very good because it's super flexible you can customize it exactly the way you want but my main thing is the other pages that I have here first thing I have is my media calendar I've been using this to track my content planner and there's so many different ways that you can view this so for example I usually mainly view it with the calendar view um, but if I need to start writing my post down I would go to all posts and then I would add and take things out if I need. I have it categorized in status. The four status is draft, posted, planned, and take photos. So here I have um, one post already done, which you can see over here. And then I copied that post and I made a TikTok version of it and I'm gonna be posting it. Today our summer covers release and then today I still have some stuff to do. You can also see things in different ways. This is basically a database that you can create and customize it the way you like. X Styles already did it for you with this template, so that's really, really good to have. And the next section is collab, which I have definitely switched out a lot. This is something that I've been wanting to do for the business is to do more collabs and just find some more like-minded and lifestyle creators to help promote our stuff. So here's an example. This is just me, myself, obviously. But I just want to share an example because I don't want to share everyone's details in here. So this section will be the actual collab that's already happening. And then I have a research section for those that if I find someone that I think I want to reach out to but haven't reached out yet and just have everything just ready to go. And then when I'm ready to reach out for a certain campaign, I can reach out to them. Then the next section is new, which is the new thing that's promoting. That way I can keep track of all the new products that are coming out and basically kind of have like a checklist for me to have. Some products are different than others, so the marketing can be a little bit different. So I will definitely have one page per product that is new. So here I have a content section. This is gonna be the social media where I share the sneak peek, which I already done. I just click that um, and then details on today which I have to share a little bit more details about the product um, other marketing things can include um, going live asking questions on IG stories or even sharing more on IG stories and then I usually have a prep kind of launch prep here these are just the things that I need to work on so I can check off the things that I've worked on um, and then this is the stuff that I'll be doing this week last but not least I have a section here if I wanted to send things out beforehand um, so this is an example of what I would write. I would just probably put the person's name and their handle, um, but that's how it looks. And then last but not least is the resources, which I have some meeting notes here. This is perfect for me and the hubby because we are business partners. We can sit down and just talk about marketing. So here's a little example of what I would do. We have an action plan area. We have the attendees. We have this month, like what we were planning to do, any notes that I needed or additional materials such as trend links that we might have saw that we want to do. Um, just different things that we can do. So I just have this little area here, which is super cute. But yeah, that is the marketing section. And then last but not least is logo branding. So in the future, and if I decide to hire someone for my small business, they can have everything here all at a glance. So the first section is the color palette. If they decide that they're gonna use Canva as their design source, they can have this color palette ready for them to go. They also have the logos ready. They can just download it or look at this to confirm that this is the logo we'll be using. Cause my Dropbox is a little bit messy sometimes. We have a typography section, which I haven't updated yet, but this is an example of how it would be in the template. And then you can just change it up based on your own fonts. And then last but not least, we have social media covers which would be perfect if I did hire someone they just need the base and the background of the photo and it has all the numbers written out this was definitely the template that came with it so I love love this a lot because I don't have to do the work it's already been done uh, but yeah this is X Tiles little brand book section so that was my little tour of it I've only used it for a couple of weeks and I'll definitely be using it as I go I absolutely love how visual appealing it is that's something that I always love seeing I'm a more of a visual person so being able to see everything at a glance and just organize things a lot better has been really, really good. I used to use Notion for my workflow and sometimes it just gets really messy. So seeing everything at a glance and having different pages has been amazing. I definitely recommend it. I'll make sure to link it
link it down below so make sure to go check it out if you haven't already x styles has been amazing and i can't wait to keep using it so one thing i want to share is how you can use teamwork with this up here you can invite members you can also assign tasks to them so for example in my inventory section i will assign it to the hubby because he's the one that's making stickers and you can also share the page using a public link to present your ideas or plans to anybody which is super super cool so let's chat my favorite features one of my ultimate favorite one is this little check mark here you can view every to-do list that you've created and it just lists all here from any pages that you have a to do and if you did schedule it for yourself you can see it here if it's not scheduled for you you won't see it so I love how you can see everything at a glance I've never seen anything like this so I'm absolutely loving that because that's been something I've been looking for my other favorite thing is that every tile that you make you can actually change the color to fit what you need if I need my to-do list to be more bold be able to see it first I can change the color and that way when I do come to this page I can look at it and look at the to-do list first there are many different ways you can change it so I love that about this app and basically it's so customizable I have I don't know what else to say and last but not least after going through this for a couple of weeks I realized there's just so much you can do whether you're a content creator whether you're a small business owner or even if you're just using it for personal it's just something I've been loving and I can't wait to keep using it so if this interests you in any way make sure to go check it out out. but that's my little demo for you but that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching and thank you again x styles for sponsoring today's video I hope you learned a little inspired you to create your own workflow with your small business or even for personal and content creation i'll make sure to link x styles down below for you to check out and feel free to ask any question i'll be glad to answer it and i'm sure x styles can answer it too if that's something i don't know and thank you again for watching today's video and don't forget to follow me at Life with Holly Lifestyle on Instagram and TikTok and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!